How you doing? Uh, I'm Tyler Jones. I'm the new head brewer here at Portsmouth Brewery. Um, really excited about taking the position. Um, new Hampshire native, been 15th generation New Hampshire. Um, ended up going to UNH, got my chemical engineering degree. Made my way out to UC Davis, got my master brewer's degree, and then jumped in the industry from there. Um, been a professional brewer for six years and a home brewer for a lot longer than that. So uh, that's kind of a little background on myself. As, uh, as sort of uh, the new guy coming in, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are curious about what what you're going to bring to the table beer wise. What can you tell us? Uh, what can you tell us about what we can expect from you? What can you expect from me? Uh, I really number one want to keep the tradition of Porson's Brewery creating high quality, high class, to style beers uh, across the board, uh, whether it be a, a light, easy drinking or a, a big gnarly stout. Um, but uh, I, tradi I like to take those traditional recipes and kind of put my own little twist on them. We're uh, bringing in older recipes that haven't been made in a while, kind of like the Berliner Weiss that's on right now or the, uh, the Goza that's on right now, both my recipes um, from when I was assistant here. Um, and then kind of your, your American IPAs. I love hops just like everyone else. So, I mean, I did the Ginger Ninja, uh, adding some ginger into a red IPA. So taking those traditional styles, giving them a little twist, but still at the same time having recipes that are very, very traditional. Um, so you're, you're coming back to Portsmouth Brewery. What does that mean to you? Coming back to Portsmouth Brewery. Uh, the truth is, actually, I was sitting at that table right there on my 21st birthday. You know, I mean, as you see, we're in the brew house here. Um, we have a kind of a fishbowl of a brew house with a glass on the way out. Uh, I was sitting at that table, 21st birthday, my first legal drink, and uh, we're in here just staring at the, the, uh, the system here. I was a budding home brewer. And I was like, someday I really, really want to brew on that system. So. Uh, I got that chance as an assistant, but now I get to brew what I want to brew in this system. So I'm extremely excited. It's kind of been a, a lifelong goal of mine as a starting out as a home brewer. And uh, an, another big part of being the head brewer here that, that Todd that Todd did really well was uh, being sort of a face of the company. So do you have any uh, plans for events and things like that? Yeah, there's definitely. Um, I mean, again, I'm, I'm I'm brand new, but I already got a couple things. Uh, in the works, a um, couple different collaboration brews. Um, kind of really the push for collaboration beers are, are cool out right now, but um, hoping to be working with uh, Rick Marley at the Flying Goose um, and also uh, Tim Adams from Oxbow Brewing Company. A uh, couple different collaboration ideas with them kind of flying around right now. Um, I really kind of want to get the home brewers back into it as well. Um, I mean, that's how I started out as a home brewer, so I kind of want to, I don't want to, I want to use the word like long shot competition because I might be trademarked, but um, but yeah, I definitely want to do a kind of a homebrew competition, uh, have people submit beers and we'll taste them out and then to have the the winning the winning beer be able to scale up here on we'll brew it on our seven barrel system and put them on tap. So. All right, well, yeah. thanks a lot for uh, introducing yourself and uh, I hope the people at home have had a good chance to get to know you a little better. Yeah. Any, any last words? Oh, no, my pleasure. It's, uh, it's great to meet you. If I haven't already met you, as one of the regulars here. Um, yeah, and I mean, I'm always here, so I guess I'll see you, see you in soon for a pint, so have a good night. Cheers.